This video is about two vowel sounds, the E eh and the A. Eh. Because they're both vowel sounds, they're both voiced sounds. So when you make the sounds, you should have a strong vibration in your vocal cords and you should be bringing air up from your chest or your diaphragm. So let's start with E. Eh. To make the E eh sound, you start with a relaxed jaw, your mouth is slightly open, and your tongue, if this is the tip, this is the middle, and this is the back, the middle of your tongue pushes forward a little bit, like this. E. Eh. E. Eh. E. Eh. It's a pretty short sound. The A eh sound is a little difficult because you have to really use your throat, your vocal cords, uh, those muscles a lot. So the idea of this sound is that 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 hole in the back of your throat, you want to make it big, as big as you can. So to do that, you start out with a relaxed jaw, and this time we want it to be a little bit wider open than the e. Eh. So I'm going to go this this way like this. The next thing is the corners of my mouth go back a little bit like this. Okay. And now with my tongue, the tip of my tongue stays down behind my teeth and the back of my tongue goes up to help open up the vocal cords or the throat there. Also, the tongue gets wide. So it's like this. Ah. 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 If you go look in the mirror and look all the way down your throat and go ah, you'll be able to see that hole in your throat get a lot bigger. Some minimal apparent examples bed, bad, pen, pan, guess, gas. The other thing that you need to know about pronouncing the e eh and the a eh, is that when those sounds are followed by an m or an n we add a little sound in between the two letters and it's a really soft sound and it's like this uh, uh. so instead of saying man man i say man or instead of saying men men i say Men, men. Another example is pen or pan or blend or bland. Check the description for more info and examples that you can use to practice these sounds.